Good morning, everyone. I'm Miss Diane Rose Kyukuraza, your teacher this morning. You can call me Teacher Diane or Mom Diane. It's up to you, okay? Okay, very good. Now, before we start, let's pray first. For those who are Catholic, please sign off the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, thank you for this day. Lord, thank you. Uh, for your guidance, Karon, unta Lord, mga successful ang akong demo, um, teaching karong adlaw, Lord, and we all pray in the in the presence of the Lord, our dear Father in heaven, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. So, how are you, class? Are you feeling good? Absolutely good. Okay. That's good. Um, may I hear your energy, guys? Class, may I hear your energy? Okay, that's that's a very good energy. It's like a powerful. Yay! Now, um, am I he her there? Okay, that's good. That's good to hear. Um, is your connection, uh? Stable. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm sure that you have your synchronous discussion in your um, other subject. Uh, I'm sure that you you are not new in this uh, kind of uh, discussion. Okay, this online. Am I right, class? Okay, that's good. Now, um... May I ask a uh, secretary of the class to um, list down the attendance, check the attendance. Okay, okay, thank you, Miss Secretary. And please kindly send it into our GC when you were done, okay? Okay, thank you. Now, may I ask you about... Uh, who can, who among of you can still remember our previous lesson? Can you still remember, class? Okay, that's good. Our previous lesson is about the elements of a, a story. Okay, I'm sure that it was a fruitful uh, discussion, and I'm sure that you have lot, uh, you've gained a lot of knowledge from those discussion and I hope that you gained uh, knowledge from my discussion today okay thank you thank you now um, let's read first our classroom rules so in our classroom uh, first is we have to listen carefully in the class discussion Respect each other to avoid hurting one another. Open your mic, then mention your your name or family name if you want to answer. Participate in the class and have fun. Okay, am I clear? Uh, am I clear with our classroom rules class? Okay, very good. Now let's proceed. Mm. Okay. Now, I have here an activity. Uh, this activity class will give you a hint on what we are going to tackle this morning. Okay, the direction is you have to observe what is in the picture. Because this picture will give you a clue. And I will, I will ask you guys later on what will be our uh, discussion this morning okay the, this morning okay okay very good so you have to observe this will affect your by the way class this my question our questions and answer or oral recitation during this um during this lesson or discussion that we have today uh, will affect your grade because i will i will list down those for those names who is participating my, our discussion will um, answer my questions during 
the discussion okay okay good now what have you observed from those pictures from this picture picture okay very good there's an aunt another is okay you think that it is winter because it is white falling from the tree and um there's a grasshopper okay very good that is lying and playing playing an instrument i think it's a violin yes that's good it's a violin and the last one is an ant with a fire okay that's a very good observation observation class now i have here another um picture observe the picture so what have you observed there's an ant in the grass okay very good there's an ant in the grass for the ant is uh collecting i okay very good that's a coin now the grasshopper is what is what does the grasshopper doing okay very good the grasshopper is singing dancing and playing a guitar very good now what do you think or what do you observe on what we are going to lesson this morning okay Okay, miss. Very good. That's a good observation. Yes, you're right. Our, um, I think you have understand our, uh, the examples that I gave you, the activity that I gave you. I think you got it, uh, perfectly and clearly. Now, our activity this morning is about. The grasshopper and the ant. Okay, give your hands a pose. Yes. Now, I know that you have an idea what is this. And I know that this is not new to you. Am I right? Yes. But I will further explain later. Um, basi nakalimot na mo in this story. And what it is kind of. A story or a story okay yes now let's uh, proceed so let us read first our um, objectives or what we will attain at the end of the discussion so let's read at the end of the lesson the students can explain what is fable express their thoughts and ideas about the story Sequence the story and value the lesson of the story. So, class, is our objective or lesson objectives attainable? Yeah. Okay, that's good to hear. Uh, I'm so confident, class, that we will attain this, this lesson objectives at the end of the lesson. Am I right? Okay, that's good. Now, so let's start. So, what is fable? Do you have any idea what is fable? Any one of you have any idea what is fable? Yes, miss? Okay, that's good. Yes, that's very good. That's right. Thank you. Fable is... So, what is fable? Fable is a story is a story in a prose of verse that features animals, plants, inanimate objects or forces of nature which are given human qualities and that that illustrates a moral lesson. Is it right? Yes, based on your research. Is it right? Yes, very good. Now, fable is um story cha sa mga ang mga things examples mga bagay is buhatan niya o kaning quality as a person mura siya person ba muak siya as a person or animals is muak siya as a person mao na siya ang ang fable story of fable okay yes do you get it class very good now let's proceed so the end in 
and the grasshopper. So the ant and the grasshopper, yes, there's a ant and the grasshopper. So who was the author and when when was the ant and the grasshopper written? Do you have any idea? Yes, kindly read. So the ant and the grasshopper uh, wrote or the author of the ant and the grasshopper is Aesop and James. So it is Aesop and James fables. Okay, do you understand? Very good. Now, class. So it is uh, written on 1848, in the year 1848. Okay, so it is so the ant and the grasshopper is an Aesop and James fables wrote on uh, written on 1848. So, class, why is it called fable? Why is the ant and the grasshopper called fable? Okay, very good. Because it is a uh, animal that have a quality of a person. And it has, at the end of the story, it has a moral lesson. Do you get it? Yes, very good. Now, let's proceed. And by the way, class, I will uh, show i will kaning magpakita ko og video for you to to kaning to understand para makita ninyo ang movie or a short short story si sa ant and the grasshopper by the way class i am uh I will ask some questions during or at the end of the movie so better ma minaw jud mo sa story sa fable nga ant and the grasshopper okay because I will ask some questions if you don't answer this will affect your grade okay yes very good now here is the story so are you excited class okay very good now here here it is once upon a time, while the summer was still blooming, the animals living in the forest, the birds and the insects, were making the most of the summer. And of course, they had no trouble finding food. It was an ordinary day for the lazy grasshopper. He was eating the roots of the herbs he had picked, whilst playing violin and singing under a tree. Oh, what a lovely day! La, 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 playing sing along with my violin, and I don't know the rest of the words to the song, but it's okay! When he finished his ear-bleeding song, he heard a noise and listened carefully. In order to understand where he knew the noise was coming from, he quickly jumped up high onto the branches of the tree. And right there, he saw from a distance an ant trail. They were marching like soldiers. With great difficulty, the ants were carrying seeds and dry fruits that had fallen off from the trees. The grasshopper jumped to the ground, and as confused as he was, he watched the trail of ants disappear. I never seem to get these ants. They're always working. Right at that moment, he noticed an ant coming his way. The ant was trying to carry seed much bigger than himself. <laughs> Just as he was passing the grasshopper, the ant dropped the seed he was carrying. In fact, he needed to rest. The grasshopper stared at him with meaningless eyes. Are you moving somewhere? No? Don't tell me there is a big disaster approaching. Is that why you're running away? No! Well then, may I ask what you're doing? Will I carry food? Hi class, are you still there? Okay, that's good. Now let's proceed. Progress! Radio, you must be expecting a lot of visitors tonight then. 
Mm. Well, sorry, food for winter. Your story, food for winter? What for? And besides, why the rush? There's still a long time for winter. Have fun. Just make the most out of the summer. And that's it. So what is your this winter for winter? I'm sure we'll find something fun to do. Don't worry. All we ever think about is fun. What will we eat? I'm asking you. I'll think about that when winter starts. Now it's summer and there's plenty to eat everywhere. The ant had enough listening to the lazy grasshopper's nonsense and tried to put the seed on his back once again. I must keep up with my friends. Will they help me to put the seed on my back? A singer and an artist like me shouldn't carry such heavy things. After hearing such an answer from the grasshopper, the ant gave the grasshopper a rather interesting look and continued to try and put the seed on his back. I suppose I could give you a little help. The grasshopper picked up the rather small seed off the ground and placed it on the ant's back. The ant thanked him and continued on his way. What a useless ant to effort. The grasshopper continued to lay under the tree. After having something small to eat, he continued to play his violin. Oh, what a lovely day! La la la! Please sing along with my violin. And so, so hi, hi guys, hi class. Oh, so what kind of attitude does grasshopper have? Okay, she he is a happy go lucky grasshopper. What else? What he thinks? Okay, he thinks that um there are plenty of foods around. So he he don't need he doesn't need to magipon para 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 sa summer because ang ants is unsa ang mga ants? Okay, nag Nag-iipon sila para sa umaabot nga winter. And si Grasshopper is wala ra siya gibuhat because wala siya naguna-huna nga mahurot di ay ang summer and padulong na si winter. Okay, let's proceed. Do you get it, class? Okay, very good. What could it make up the rest? La, 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 la. The instant the grasshopper stopped his singing, he took a glance at the squirrel, dropped his violin, and he took off. They don't know how to appreciate the artist in this forest. As the hot summer days continued, the ants continued on carrying food to their nests, while the grasshopper continued to eat, walk around, have fun playing his violin and sing. Finally, the cold winter had arrived. One morning, when the ants woke up... Okay, class, what kind of season ang niabot na sh ang niabot na sa ant in the grasshopper my story okay very good so in this time winter na siya and as you can see here the ants now let's proceed they had a look outside from their nests and saw that everything was covered in white snow all the little ant could think of was the other animals living in the cold freezing and hungry. On the other hand, due to all the plants being covered with snow, the grasshopper hadn't eaten a single thing for days. He was shivering, had lost all his strength, and wasn't able to play the violin or sing. With great strength, he was trying to walk on the snow. Suddenly, he thought about the hot summer days. I must wear those days. Everyone was covered in food. I had a full stomach. I was always happy. At that moment, he thought about the ant. He carried food to his nest all summer long. Later, he realized he didn't like this idea. He had made fun out of him during the summer. Would he help him now, he wondered? 
Okay class, now, what have you observed in the, in the grasshopper? What did he feel? Okay, he feels hungry, then sad. Because, wala na siya ay makaon. And, he feels, he felt na lonely. Okay, now let's proceed. And now, it was way too cold for the grasshopper to walk. It's not time to be proud. I have to find the ant's nest and ask for help. He headed straight to the ant's nest. He stood in front of the door and yelled. Is anybody there? Please help. How is it? From the nest he heard a noise. The grasshopper, with his last strength, answered. My dear friend, and it's me, grasshopper. Please take me in. By this time, hearing all that was being said, the queen ant approached the little ant. What's going on? Who wants help? Just a lazy grasshopper that sits around since all day, my queen. I think he is hungry and seeks help. Anyone who ends up at our doorstep and seeks help should not be rejected. The queen and all the other ants approached the front door of the nest and opened it. The grasshopper was there lying down on the snow because he had no strength anymore. The ants immediately picked the grasshopper up and carried him into the nest. The grasshopper came to himself thanks to the warmth of their nest. They gave him water and food. Now he was feeling much better. The grasshopper thanked the queen and walked next to the little ant. I have been very unfair to you. While you were working all summer long, I sat down and just sang. And actually you warned me, but I did not take you seriously. I regret that. This should be a big lesson for you. We also would like to have fun all summer long, but we do have to think about the future too. If we did not get our food during summer, we might have been in the same position as you. The grasshopper stayed in their nest for a while. He was now much better and healthier. When it was time to go, the ants gave the grasshopper some food. Thank you for everything. You saved my life and I will never forget that. And I will never be lazy from now on. Can I ask for a favor? Sure, tell me. What do you like? Um, when it's summer, you can take music lessons, learn to play the violin, and make all the other animals happy, maybe. <laughs> Uh, what moral did you think that grasshopper, what is the moral lesson of the story? And what uh, did grasshopper um, learn from his mistake that he made? Okay, very good. The moral lesson of the story of the Ace of Fable of the ant and the grasshopper is about the virtue of a hard work and planning for the future am, am i right or is this a moral lesson right okay very good we have to plan for our future para dili ta maglisod from time to time kay na na tay gi plano og naka ready na ta para sa umaabot nga struggles nga tong ma, ma ma encounter okay yes that's good now class i want you to to answer this i want you to answer this one the ant and the grasshopper match the words with the picture so class i will ask you so you have to choose from the above summer starving work hard lazy and winter so the first picture 
What is that picture describes? It's work hard very good because the ant is working hard to find a food for the coming winter. The next picture, what do you think from based on a picture? It's winter very good because it the picture you have a snow and a white a uh, snowman and a tree that is white have a white leaves yes now the third picture shows starving yes very good because the man is have think of a food and his stomach is starving yes and the fourth picture shows what is it? Okay, summer very good because it has a tree full of fruits and a sunshine. Very big sunshine. Now the last picture shows. Okay, very good. The lazy grasshopper because in times of summer he is just playing his guitar and singing songs and dancing while the ant is hard work, uh, having a hard day uh, collecting food for the coming winter. Yes, that's good. Now, I want you to answer this. Put the story in order. I want you to answer this. Uh, now, where does the, the grasshopper find Okay class, now I want you to answer this. Put the story in order. I will give you um, maybe three minutes to answer, okay? Okay, let's go. Okay, class, time's up. So, um, the answer here is I want, it, I want to hear from you. Okay, very good. The first one here is the ant is collecting food. And the second one is the grasshopper is singing under the tree. The third one is it is win winter. The grasshopper hasn't uh, got food. It it is the grasshopper is starving now uh, the fourth is the grasshopper find finds the ant's house because he is starving and there's no more food to find because it is winter na hurut na og snow na covered up na sa snow ang mga trees and there's no food to find then the grasshopper uh, ask and for help. It it want so na ang grasshopper is nangayu na siya help kay gigutom na kaayu siya. Then the last one is the grasshopper says he's sorry, and now they were friends. At the end, yes, very good. Your your answer is are all correct very good now i have here an assignment for you to answer and you can pass this on the uh, epm ninyo sa messenger ha okay okay very good now the ant and the grass upper has grasshopper i will give you I will give you time to screenshot. I screenshot lang siya mga palangga. I screenshot siya then ipas siya next meeting, okay? Okay. So, what have you learned from this lesson class? Okay, very good. You learned fable, sequence. Okay, very good. Sequencing the story and what else? What else did you learn?
what else okay you gained a moral lesson and you have yes you have and to express yourself in your own ideas okay what what is it fables what is fable class okay very good fable is inclu uh, uh, things or animals that Musturia siya, mukuan siya sa persons, kaning kinaiya sa person, and has a moral lesson. Very good. Now, um, what is the title of our story today? The Ant and the Grasshopper. Very good. And who is the author of The Ant and the Grasshopper? Okay, very good. It is ASO. Let's clap our hands. I I hope you have gained a lot of of learnings today from my lesson. Um I think it is uh, you have gained a lot from today. So that's all class. Thank you. See you next meeting. That's all. Bye. Thank you very much for your participation. You may leave. Okay, thank you.